To find success as an artist, it is important to show your work. And sharing a curated selection of your artwork on Instagram that is representative of your signature style can help you attract your ideal customers and build your artist brand. Hi, I'm Jenna Blackburn, a surface designer and illustrator in Detroit, Michigan. I like to think of my style as a playful exploration of color and shape that stems from my background in graphic design. I believe that developing my signature style was one of the most impactful things that I've done to further my career as an artist. And looking back, I can identify a few turning points during my process of figuring out my style. The first turning point is covered in my class called Develop Your Signature Style, Overcoming Obstacles with a Five-Day Art Challenge, where I talk about dealing with the fear of making bad art and other limiting mindsets that can get in your way of creating lots of art. The second turning point in my journey of developing my signature style was when I started planning my Instagram posts in Adobe InDesign, which is what I will cover in this class. When I took the time to gather my work and plan out how I was going to post it in a cohesive, beautiful way, it was eye-opening. I started to see what work fit together and what didn't. And this helped me to lean into the signature style that was starting to form at that time. I started to attract more ideal clients and followers because I was being selective about the work I was sharing and making sure it was the type of work I wanted to do more of. In this class, I'll walk you through how to set up a template and you'll learn the essential tools and panels of InDesign that are needed to import images, resize and move images around, and work with color in Adobe InDesign. Then I'll give you my tips for analyzing your work so that you can style a balanced and refined Instagram grid. And I love styling my Instagram grid in Adobe InDesign because I can easily make changes to colors, arrangement, and the cropping of artwork before exporting the final files to be uploaded to Instagram. And InDesign works really well with both Photoshop and Illustrator files so you can incorporate a mix of vector and raster elements in your layout with ease. This class is for complete beginners to Adobe InDesign, as well as creatives that may already know InDesign and want to learn how to use it to style their Instagram grid and refine their signature style. I'm excited to teach this class because I love Adobe InDesign and because I wanna share this exercise that has been so beneficial for me. Let's get started.